All right, everybody, we're finally there. Hey, look, it is the very bottom of the barrel. You are the most budget-minded of gamers. You're like, $2? Feh. Give me something that's under a dollar. Well, we've got you. We have got you. Under a dollar? No problem. I have many recommendations for you. 55 of them. Oh, boy. Buckle up. Let's try and move quickly and not make this thing last as long as the under $5 one did. Because that was interminable. A word that takes as long to say as it does to explain what it is. Look it up. Anyway, regardless. 3D RPG. 3D RPG is exactly what the name implies. It is 3D. It is Bloxel-based graphics. And it is an RPG. It will give you absolute Minecraft vibes, and that is probably intentional. Uh, the gameplay is a little bit limited and a little bit same-samey, uh, but that's what you get when you are spending 49 cents on a game. I still found it very fun and engaging, especially at this price point. So, yeah, for less than a dollar, what do you want? Anyway... Uh, Alien Breed, Impact, Assault, and Descent. These are some of the best shooters ever. They are. They just, they are. And um, if you play the original Alien Breed on DOS back in the day, uh, this is based off of those exact games, and it has the same, like, isometric uh, view and the same sort of gameplay as the original, except for everything is updated, everything is better, super awesome, voice acted, uh, cool weapons and pickups and unlockables and things, and it pays to explore every portion of a level. Um, really, really solidly fun games, and all of them, all three of them are only... 99 cents right now you can get the trilogy for 229 so highly recommended these games are amazing and i love them and i recommend that you get all of them uh, but if you want to just get one of them get impact the very first game play it you'll see what i mean you'll be like oh my god this is absolutely triple a quality game that you can get for under a dollar Axe Girl. Uh, this one, it, it's funny because this, you know, sometimes when you buy an indie game, and this is, you know, really fun indie platformer, and you can see, like, remember um, Adventure Island? How like th the character movement was kind of janky, and, and so it never felt quite as official as Mario. You're like, yeah, I guess this is a Nintendo game. Axe Girl has that same kind of like, you know, indie jankiness, but um, it's also, it's still very good. And uh, the guy who did the music for this game reached out to me and thanked me for reviewing it. And I thought that was really cool of him. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, made by nice people, and it is only 49 cents, so it's really fun if you like those uh, action platformers. Borrow. There are a million of these games, like um, there's so many, so many Borrow games. Uh, buy any of them, buy all of them, they are all super good, but what they are is little uh, racers. And they, the level design is really good. And you can play, uh, you know, player versus player. It's got that PvP action that you so crave in your, uh, in your games. And it, it, the levels can be pretty hard. And the gameplay can be kind of unforgiving at times. Uh, because you really have to be aware of what you're doing and not oversteering and not understeering. So you really kind of have to learn the levels. Uh, but yeah, if you play things like Mario Kart, for example, uh, this game has a lot of similar cartoonish charm. 
And there's like a kajillion of them, and they're all a little bit different with new levels and new vehicles and all that stuff. So buy any of the Borrow games. They are 49 cents. You can get collections. What? This has so many of this five bucks. The Borrow collection is only three dollars. It gives you tons of you buy the extras for 94 cents you get like expansions and whatnot now granted uh you, you can purchase the in-game credit which yeah i don't love microtransactions in games but this one doesn't put it in your face like i had forgotten that this was a thing uh until i saw it down there and i was like huh. but Mostly, this is just a really cute, really fun racing game, and I recommend it, especially because it's 49 cents. Beep. This is a puzzle platformer. Super fun. It used to be 49 cents. It is currently free. It's free. Have it. It's free. Like, you play as this little robot who has... Uh, you know, this arm that can grapple things in the environment and move them around. And you can also uh, propel yourself in different ways. You got little rocket boosters on your thing. And you got to make your way through the world, a harsh and unforgiving world that doesn't seem to care about the feelings of a cute little robot such as yourself. Um, it can be really hard at times figuring out where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. Um, but it is really, really fun. And if you like puzzle platformers, this is an excellent puzzle platformer. The puzzles are really good and it's free right now. Used to be 49 cents. I don't know if it's free from here on out, but it, yeah, it's free now. So get it. Okay. Um, beyond divinity. This is for the budget-minded person who is like, well, I wish that I could buy Icewind Dale, and I wish that I could buy, you know, uh, Baldur's Gate and some of those other old-school isometric owned by Wizards of the Coast RPG-type games. Well, this is an RPG from the same vintage except for it is uh, in the Divinity world, which, like, Divinity is still going. People, There are a lot of people who think that uh, Divine Divinity 2, something, whichever Divinity game came out on the Switch, there are people who are like, this is the best RPG on the Switch. And it's like, wait, but there's Breath of the Wild. And they're like, nah, I didn't stutter. <laughs> I meant what I said. Um, the, the mixed reviews, I don't know what that's about. I played it. I really enjoyed it. If it is, there is a pretty steep degree of difficulty. There are other games in the, uh, divinity world that are the old isometric ones. This is a very fun one. It's 59 cents. So if you like that kind of game, it's good stuff. Um, there is a super bit. I think I meant to put the super bit blaster. XL. Anyway, regardless, <laughs> uh, Bit Blaster, Super Bit Blaster. It's an arena space shooter. It's basically asteroids with like really cool power ups and ship unlockables and stuff. And so it's like asteroids gets a little bullet hellish on you. It's 49 cents. And this developer, Adam Vision Studios, they do a lot of really cool, like, taking old arcade games and modernizing them and making them into new, interesting gameplay experiences. And although this is a very simple game, which you've played Asteroids a million times, it's still super fun, and it's 49 cents. Boneless Zombie. I purchased this. I will do this again. I will. I go through and I purchase up games that are like in the 49 cent range that don't have a lot of reviews. At the time, this one, I was like, I don't know what this is, but Boneless Zombie, that sounds crazy. I'm in. Didn't have a lot of reviews at the time. It's got a few more now, but like this game 
is exactly as stupid as it sounds. You are this dude who got accidentally roped into this evil scientist's lab and he turned you into a zombie and he took all your bones. And now you're trying to escape. And your girlfriend still loves you for some reason, even though you're a boneless zombie. Um, you got to be careful because it's really easy to like get yourself uh, flung in the wrong direction in this world. Uh, the gameplay is simple and stupid at the same time, but also very effective. And it's very, very fun to play as this boneless zombie. Uh, it is 74 cents and worth every penny. Absolutely, absolutely such a good game. Uh, Braveland. What? I can't believe this is in here. Braveland is a legit game. Like, this is a gamey game. I own this on things. I I might have a physical copy somewhere on something. Uh, it's been around for a little while. When did it come out? 2014. So, you play on a hex-based grid. You, you start off as a lowly farmer, and you start gathering people to your cause because these bandits start invading your land, and you're like, hey, you can't invade our land. And then pretty soon you build up an army. And then it's this turn-based hex grid um, strategy RPG. And it's really, really good. And they have multiple games in different worlds. Like there's a pack you can get Braveland, Braveland Pirate, and Braveland Wizard. And there's, what? Is Spaceland out? I didn't know Spaceland was out yet. I'm going to have to pick that up um, <laughs> because all of these games are really, really good. Pick up the bundle, pick it up, pick up Brave Land on its own if you want to just try it and see if you like this. But if you like strategy, turn-based RPG stuff, this one is both really cute and really fun and really well done. So highly recommended and very cheap right now. Okay, this one, Breath of Death 7 comes in conjunction with another game. This is from Z-Boyd Games, and I told you, I buy all the Z-Boyd Games. All of them. Uh, this is a double pack you get for 74 cents. You get Cthulhu Saves the World, where Cthulhu very reluctantly has to save the world against his own better interests. And Breath of Death 7, these are RPGs in the classic, like, you know, old school Final Fantasy style. And they are so fun and so funny because the guys who made these games, you can tell that they have played hours and hours and hours of these kinds of RPGs. And so they know how to make a quality one, but they also know how to insert a lot of really, really funny humor. The more you know about classic RPGs, the better off you are playing these. But for 74 cents to get two complete games that are a lot of fun and are like really solidly deep RPGs that you can pour some hours into that are also really funny and really caringly crafted. Like, that's what people love about Z-Boyd games, and that's what I love about them. Let's see, is there anything of theirs that I am missing? Because I've al already recommended Cosmic Star Heroine. I don't know this one. Penny's Arcades on Rain Slick, da, 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 da. This one's been out for a little while. I'm going to have to check that out. But I do have... Uh, uh, Breath of Death 7 and Cthulhu Saves the World, I have the, the pack. And yeah, I have Cosmic Star Heroin, and I need to get this. It's not on sale, but it's cheap, and I'll get it. Anyway, uh, Z-Boyd Games, they only make quality, and I love them. Absolutely love them. Um, build More Cubes. This one was purchased for me by Russian hackers who were using it for auto-achiever purposes, but I actually find it to be a pretty fun game to play. You start off, let's not watch this guy yell about it, um, you start off and you have a small army of cubes, 
and then you go through and your group of cubes, you just move them around with your mouse and have them fight other cubes, other small factions of cubes. And then you build up more and more units. It's like an RTS that unfolds as you play it. And so, like, the strategy is still there, but you don't have to, like, you know, build a fortress and then upgrade it, and then you can get new different types of... No, it just happens on the battlefield. If your guys are victorious, they will repopulate. You know, some of the dead guys will be resurrected, and you'll come back better and stronger than before. Um, but also, it can get really punishing, where if you're not openly taking on the enemy early and taking some chances they will punish you for it because all of a sudden you're just going to be outmatched and outclassed and outgunned and you don't want that so some really interesting strategy very casual it's 28 cents i didn't know you could get cheaper than 49 cents on steam apparently captain pegleg this is a really funny and fun um action platformer and it, it's got a really funny sense of humor and it's a surprisingly well-made game given its price point because it's always been super cheap like how much is it normally a buck 99 how much is it now 49 cents so it's always super cheap but it's like really really fun and funny so really fun to have carnal Oh my god, have you played Doom? Yes, you have. Uh, I mean the original. Uh, and did you wish that it was more crazy? Actually, did you play Doom mods and original Doom levels? And some, some of them made you stop and say like, Man, this should be its own game. Yeah, that's what this is. Because look, it's that classic 1990s shooter action that you love so much. But it's like new weapons, new uh, areas, new enemy types, new types of gameplay. And so it takes that, you know, original Mac Daddy of um, first person shooter gaming, but also updates it and makes it very unique. And it's super fun to play. People love this game. Not enough people, apparently. Only 154 views. I thought people were all about this. Oh, and there's... Yeah, there, there's a new one that they're making, apparently. 49 cents for this. It's very lovingly made by people who just obviously love this era of gaming. And I love that. Cave Blazers. This is a game that never gets its due. This game, in my mind, is just as good as Spelunky. I know that some people will find that blasphemous, but I don't care. And look, you can get Spelunky. It's in our under five category. This is under a dollar. It is 99 cents. And it is a an action platformer roguelite uh, that is just so much fun and so funny. Like has a great sense of humor about itself and is really awesome to play. Hours and hours and hours of replayability in this game, and it doesn't get enough love. It's only 99 cents. Give it some love, please. Chimpology. Now, this game is admittedly not for everyone. If you remember the old days of the internet and how long it used to take pictures to load, that's what this game is based on. Ooh, I need to start moving faster. You enter the ones and zeros in the correct order, so there are just two buttons, ones and zeros. It's your job to input the ones and zeros. You are a monkey who makes people's pictures appear on the internet. And it's so stupid, but it's also like very, very fun. It, it's a really, really dumb idea that works so well, and it is 49 cents. Crash Wheels. This is... Uh, I saw a review of it that was like, oh, this is like BeamNG Drive, but only about the crashing, which for a lot of people, that's what BeamNG Drive is about. Uh, this one is like... Um, 
it's basically I would say it's more like super monkey ball um <laughs> where you're trying to make it through these stupid levels that are like really crazy and have like some really wild obstacles and you're just trying to make it through the end by any means necessary with as much of your car intact as you can manage and um yeah you play against these npcs who are not always the smartest and best um but yeah it's very fun very interesting game uh it does feel like a budget title it will reveal itself to be such it is not as deep as beam ng drive not by any stretch of the imagination but it's 49 cents and it's really fun crazy driver um this one i had a lot of fun with i don't know if other people are going to love it as much as i do it's just a basic open uh <laughs> like an open arena where you are a robber basically you're a criminal on the run from the cops and your job is to make the cop cars explode and then steal their money and stuff like money randomly appears and you just steal it and then you do wicked burnouts and spins and stuff and yes the problem with this game is that you can literally just drive in a straight line and forever avoid the police but that's not how to win and have fun with it. Like, yeah, it, it, there are some problems with the game. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it's perfect, but it is also 49 cents and I had a lot of fun with it. So maybe you will too. I don't know. Crime girl. Oh my God. Is this game fun? Crime girl. You have a grappling hook. You steal emeralds and there are lots of enemy types and really, really cool levels. By the way, the music for this game is bumping. It's really, really good. I love the soundtrack to this game. This game is only 49 cents right now. An absolute bargain. Cyber Badminton. This is Cyber Badminton 2020. This is another one that I got as like, you know, me buying up mass hordes of uh, Steam games that are very cheap that don't have a lot of reviews. And this one is basically like aliens have invaded and they demand that you that earth send their best badminton player and you have to play the aliens in badminton otherwise the earth will be taken over and yeah there are power-ups there are things that you can do to make it better for yourself but it's it's really silly it's a very very silly game uh, that is also very, very fun, and it is 49 cents. Um, defunct. Th these are probably the best graphics that you are going to find of any game in the sub $1 category. This is a racing kind of game. It It's kind of a, I don't know, environmental racer-ish sort of a thing. Basically, you're this little robot with one wheel. And uh, when you click the mouse, it your uh, gravity, um, like it turns on your gravity function for your little robot. Which if you use it, if you use gravity to build up speed down hills and then you release it uh, when you're on flats and straights, um, you start moving really, really fast. And it's very, very satisfying to pull off cool jumps and interesting moves and stuff in this game because, yeah, you're just a little one-wheeled robot who is zipping through this world. Very fun, and it's only 99 cents. Uh, Deus Ex, this is one of the best games ever made. Ever. Ever. Can I say ever again? Ever. Ever. Uh, yeah, Deus Ex is the ultimate in cyberpunk. It was cyberpunk before we had a word to express what this is. You play as an augmented human. Uh, you come up against, you know, gang wars and upheavals of government. And, like, you literally have to decide the fate of all humanity. Uh, but also, it's super fun, and there's a lot of stealth, and there's a lot of, like, you decide how to approach the levels. You come out guns blazing, you come out all stealthy, and it's really, really interesting. Like, the story is incredible, 
Uh, people absolutely love this game a lot more than they love its sequels, and they are not wrong. <laughs> anyway, it's 97 cents and a great value. Devious Dungeon. Here's the first Devious Dungeon game. It's less than a dollar. Uh, very, very satisfying action roguelite games. Um, the Devious Dungeon 1 and 2, like, just very, very well done. I love these. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. I love the way they play. They're just a good time all around. And it's 99 cents. Digger Man. Now, this one I know is more than likely an adapted um, mobile game, but for some things, I just don't care. And this is one where I really just don't care because, yeah, you dig in diagonal lines. It's very much like Boulder Dash, but unlike Boulder Dash, it has more power ups, it has more enemy types, and it has this whole story about why you're digging in the first place, which is, you know, pretty cool. Anyway, it's only 49 cents, and I think it's great. Um, Ding Dong XL, do you want to find out how much of a game you can make with a ball that just moves back and forth and forth and back, and that's it? You can make a ton of game. A ton of game. Uh, this is another Atom Vision Studios, and it's so well done. It's incredible how good this game is. And it was literally just created as a, like, hey, w what can we do with, you know, this sort of ball and paddle trope that has not been done before? And they find the exact answer to that, and it's really fascinating, and it's 49 cents. Downwell. I can't believe this one's under a dollar because this is a very beloved Devolver Digital game. It has over 6,000 positive views or positive uh, reviews of it. People love this game. You are falling down a well and you've got gun shoes that help you to do various things and engage with the world around you. And it's so much fun freaking fun it's just really really well done and it's only 98 cents right now uh dungeon siege people done slept on the dungeon siege games now dungeon siege 2 and 3 are also out there a lot of people have feelings about 3 i haven't played it yet i will admit but i did play the ever love and crap out of dungeon siege 1 and 2 one of the reasons why people don't like this game as much is because it was made or like it was published by Microsoft back in the day, if I remember correctly. Square Enix, yes, yeah, absolutely. But I, I remember something about how like Microsoft bankrolled this one or something. There was some somehow Microsoft was involved and people were like, Boo, we don't want a Diablo clone that's made by Microsoft. And they were wrong. I feel like they were wrong about this. I really like this game. It's 97 cents. Has a lot of replay value and a lot of really interesting ways that you can interact with the world and choose to get through a level. Uh, Fishing Adventure might be the best 49 cents I have ever spent. If you like fishing games at all or think that you might, uh, play this one. It is 49 cents. They have tournaments daily in which you can face off against other players in a variety of different categories, and it's so much fun. I love it. I absolutely love this game, and it's so cheap. Anyway, uh, uh, da, 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 getting ahead of myself. Glorkian Warrior. Oh my god, I just reviewed this one. And this has graphics from an Eisner Award-winning cartoonist, and it's a Galaxian Galaga-style clone, except for with a million different power-ups and a very funny sense of humor, and, like, these, this giant robot head will just change up the gameplay rules for no reason in the middle, and these twin alien sisters will come out and change the gameplay for no good reason. They'll be like, okay, it's tennis balls now, you know, or whatever. 
and it's very engaging, very fun. Um, global leaderboards, super awesome. Uh, fun to play, hard to master. It is 79 cents. Grab Lab. This is another one where I thought like, oh, this has to be a mobile game. And once again, I don't love puzzle games. I really don't. In a lot of ways, I just, I do not enjoy them. But this one, uh, yeah, you've got a grappling hook and then you got to make your way through the level and find out how to uh, get from one place to the next um, with your little grappling hook and whatnot and how to avoid enemies and how to just, you know, be good. There's a million unlockable characters. There's so much fun and it's 49 cents. So even though this feels like it had an original life as a mobile game, I don't care. It's so fun. Half-Life and Half-Life 2. What can I say about these games that has not already been said? I lived these games for so long. 99 cents for Half-Life and Half-Life 2 is also just 99 cents. You can get the orange box for a buck ninety nine, and I recommend that you do because with it you also get Portal, and you also get TF two, and you also you get a bunch of things, and it's super worth it because it's super fun. Hamsterdam, this is a beat 'em up, um, <laughs> like fighting style game where you play as a little hamster, and it's really engaging and really cute and very, very fun to play. Um, you, you will not believe how much fun it is to beat people up when you are a little tiny hamster and they are a ginormous rat or something. Anyway, uh, and it's, did I say how cheap it is? It should only be like, boom, 74 cents. Anyway, Hypergalactic Psychic Table Tennis 3000, it looks like an Atari game. And that's because it looks like an Atari game. It takes the old concept of Pong and it flips it on its head pretty hard. Like it takes this classic Pong idea and it just super, super duper powers it with all kinds of crazy power-ups and things that you can do. Um, and it adds in RPG elements to a block or to a, uh, Pong style game. What? How is that even possible? And how is it possible that it's only 49 cents? I don't know, but get it. Cause it's really good. Iron Fistical. We talked about Iron Cryptical. Iron Fistical is the, a uh, little brother of that game and it's still super super fun i love these games and i love this one it was the first one that i played and uh super super much fun um arena shooter so it's basically uh robotron meets gauntlet somebody steals the royal turnip and you've got to rescue it it's 89 cents to be just blasting your way through endless levels of super fun. Anyway, um, let's see, where are we? Do, 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 do. I'm physical just cause the original just cause. Now this one, like when I looked at it, people were like mixed. Why? I enjoyed this one. I enjoy, I took it for what it was. I didn't take it for granted. It is trying to out Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto, and it doesn't succeed at that, but it does succeed at becoming its own little thing that's very quite charming and where you can do a lot of action movie sequences, but also you're not in an action movie and, you know, <laughs> you, you don't have the stakes of potentially dying and whatnot. It, it is the closest you will ever come to being in an action movie for most people. Little Tennis, uh, you play as these little pill people, basically. Um, and it's just, it's a tennis game. It, it's tennis, 49 cents, tennis, good stuff. 
Montaro. I just reviewed Montaro and Montaro RE. If you only buy one of them, buy Montaro RE. It has more unlockables. Some of the gameplay elements make a lot more sense than others. You play as this little corgi, you move through the world, you steal girls' underpants, and you get coins and avoid birds who would try to wreck your life. So, all in all, very interesting idea, very fun, and it's only 51 cents. Uh, Mutant Muds Deluxe. Uh, Mutant Muds, originally, this was a 3DS game where you're moving between foreground and background and they decided that like oh the 3ds would be able to do this with its 3d screen and it sort of does but also kind of not uh so you will miss that 3d effect but not really <laughs> you won't necessarily miss it when you are getting mutant muds deluxe which is a super fun little action platformery shooter um very retro styled, but very, very fun. And you can get this bad boy for 99 cents. Like, so recommended, so good. Um, anyway, over 9,000 zombies. As the name implies, you're just going to face down hordes and hordes of zombies. It's a top down shooter, so shades of like your hotline Miamis and whatnot. And uh, in between rounds of zombies, you can build up fortifications, set turrets, build walls and stuff. And it's really cool how the game plays, even though it is merely a, let's see, 51 cent game. And there are tons of unlockable weapons and tons of various power-ups and whatnot. Very, very fun. Uh, you will die, but you will also learn from your deaths. Project Snake. Uh, this is basically <laughs> an interesting way to make Snake. Like, you see this and you're like, oh, that's Snake. Yeah, it is. But also on a modern screen running a, like, you know, much, much better graphics than you would get on your old school Nokia phone where you used to play Snake. So if you want to play an upgraded version of Snake, this one is really, really good. And it is only, <coughs> apologies, 49 cents. Red Death. Now, there's some people who didn't like this game as much. I happen to love it. Uh, this is a bullet hell shooter. It is in this, you know, red and white style, uh, which is a very interesting stylistic choice. But the enemies come at you fast and furious. The bullets are all over the screen. It is hard to stay alive, but it's very fun to attempt to do so. It is 69 cents, my favorite number of cents. Reigns. Oh my God, is this game fun. So here's the thing about Reigns. Is that uh, the king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, basically. You are dealt cards. And every decision you make, you can either go to the right or to the left. You can choose this or that. And that on, on every single card. And it will impact people's faith, uh, people's health. Uh, whether or not there's a lot of war going on and how the economy is doing. And a lot of these things are very much mutually opposed to each other. Things that are good for the economy might not be good for the church or whatever. Anyway, it's a really, really cool take on a roguelike genre. And it is only 98 cents and it is absolutely superb quality. Uh, Road Bustle is Crossy Road with, like, human fall flat kind of physics. So, yeah, just feel about that however you like. It is 37 cents, and that is should be enough to buy it. I mean, this one, Shotgun Legend, is classic Legend of Zelda, except for answers the question, but what if he had a shotgun? Huh. 
well, what if indeed, if, uh, yeah, Link from the Adventures, or from, yeah, from the original Zelda, um, the NES one, because that's what it looks like. This is that, but with a shotgun, and it's super cool. Anyway, uh, Squid It, or Squidlet, sorry. Squidlet is a uh, Game Boy style games. Love those Game Boy style graphics. And it is an action adventure platformer style game. It's very, very fun, very interesting how they put this world together. And um, yeah, you're going to have to make some choices in this game. And you might not like the results of all of your choices. So yeah keep a lot of game saves on hand just so you can go back if you don't like how something turns out. Anyway, uh, highly recommended at 49 cents. Submarine Titans. People got really mad at me for my review of this game because they were like, uh, you're not doing it right. Oh my God. Like RTS fans can be so persnickety and they were persnickety on my review of this game or the, yeah and i just i don't know i felt bad i took it down because i felt like i had betrayed an entire community of people who are gathered around this game and so watching me play it bad they were like boo stop you can't do this and uh in retrospect they were correct um anyway Super Dungeon Boy is another one of these caring little love letters to the world of Super Mario and whatnot, to the old school action platformer genre, um, and it shows. And it also has a lot of unlockables, and you you play against your crazy sister and whatnot. There's some really fun things in this game. And uh, I just, I highly recommend it. It is uh, 49 cents. Good times. Good, good times. Uh, Super Trench Attack. I reviewed this one not long ago. Has a really funny sense of humor. It is a um, action RPG shooter uh, with World War One-ish vibes. Uh, which is funny because most games go for World War Two. This is World War One, and it you just you're moving through, you're shooting the enemy. The way they react is very like arcadish, and very similar to what you would have found in an arcade game. Uh, but like, you know, th this is uh, not an arcade game very conspicuously and never was and so like there's some things in here that are like really goofy childish you know uh buttholes and poop sort of humor you know which i can appreciate it's only 99 cents oh we better hurry i don't want to be as long as <laughs> The $5 video. Tetrapunk is a uh, steampunk Tetris with a electro jazz soundtrack that's pretty cool. It's 39 cents. It's a fun way to play Tetris. Timberman. Didn't I already have Timberman? I feel like I had Timberman on this list. I don't know. Anyway, Timberman, uh, I feel like it started out as a mobile game. But basically, uh, you are switching sides on where you chop a tree and trying not to have the branches fall on your head. Because if they do, then your run is over and you got to start all over again. Anyway, easy to pick up and put down. Um, lots of unlockable characters. Very simple gameplay, but very effective. It is 30 cents. Almost done. The Vagrant. This is a really quality game. This is a Metroidvania in which you play as a girl who is not wearing the most clothes out of any video game character that you'll see. But like, yeah, because you can see her little pixel boobs are just swinging. Um, anyway, 
but the action of the game is really good. The gameplay is really, really solid, and it's super much fun. And so if you enjoy the fan service, good, you're going to enjoy this game. If you don't enjoy the fan service, then maybe I suggest not getting it because there is a lot of fan service in this game. Uh, it is 79 cents and highly recommended. Um, finally, last but not least, one of my personal favorites, Zombies on a Plane. It's exactly what the name would have you believe it is. You get to fight zombies on a plane. You could be flying the plane and trying to shake them off the outside. You could be standing with a gun on the outside trying to shoot them off. Or you could be in the cabin trying to kill all the zombies that you can get. So whichever style of gameplay you choose, it's going to be action-packed and really fun. So I love this game. I think it's really great. And it is only 49 cents. So yeah, highly recommended. Very fun game. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've done my part. Hopefully, I've given you some things to think about uh, in terms of how to stretch your gaming dollar. I, I hope you find some good games that I recommended, and uh, let me know if you did. I mean, I'm not saying that to be like, comment on my thing. Like, I don't care if you comment or not, but like, if you want to tell me that you got a cool game because I recommended it, like, sure, I want to know about that, and not just because selfish channel reasons, because I'm not monetized, I don't care about selfish channel reasons, I'm just a guy doing it for the love of the game, for the love of the games, plural, anyway, and this is a game that is stupid and ridiculous, the zombies on a plane, I'm just still watching gameplay footage, it's so fun, and so dumb, and just it's what it needs to be. And it's 49 cents. So why not buy it? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, at some point, I'm going to buy up a whole bunch of 49 cent games and find out what they are and review those in turn. The, the budget stravaganza that I always do. Uh, or budget explosion. I forget which which we're on at the current time, but yeah, playing them budget games. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing more of on this channel very soon. So keep an eye out. I hope these guides helped, and I will see you in the next one, ladies and gents. Okay, bye.